one. Hey, welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network here on High School Game Day, powered by 92.3 KICK, 92.3, home of the Royals in Springfield, Missouri, and brought to you by Great Southern Bank, Great Southern Bank with more than 100 locations in six states where they care as much about your money as you do. We go down to West Plains and visit with Coach Matt Perkins and uh, Coach this uh, – kind of becoming a weekly thing here with you. You, you guys have out, off to a great start at West Plains, but a big game in front of you. Yeah. Um, you know, it's been a good year so far and uh, we definitely have a, have a tough one this Friday. Kind of, kind of handicapped this game coming up, uh, you know, a, a Camden team that uh, now throws the ball all over the field, you know, 60 or 70 times your, your defensive coordinator is probably not getting any sleep. Well, uh, you know, you go from, having to defend Flexbone two of the first games and then uh, try to, you know, switch back and do this it's on, uh, you know, three or four practices and stuff. But uh, I think our kids are up to it. Talk about, you know, coming out of this this 3-0 and start. What do you like right now about your team? What are you guys doing really well? And maybe what are some things you feel like you need to work on? You know, I think we're spreading things around offensively really well. We haven't had to, you know, rely on any one individual to kind of carry us through things. Um, that's that's been a good thing. It, it's helped us stay a little bit fresher and, and you know less banged up. Um, you know, maybe than if we were having to pound one guy thirty times on carries or whatever. So that, that's been good. I'd say, um, you know, offensively, something that uh, remains to be seen is how well we do handle that environment where we're in a you know, a tough game and we have to play all four quarters. And um, so, you know, we're, we've not really been tested in that way just yet. And that's, uh, you know, that's, I think, coming um, defensively. You know, I think uh, we haven't been tested on the back end. We play two flex bone teams that, you know, they're throwing for last resort type situations. Um, Hillcrest actually uh, caught the ball on us a couple times, got some first downs. We had a busted coverage once. And, um, so, you know, we're getting ready to see some tests on the back end of things. Um, and so that, that's going to be good for us. It'll be a good, a good week to learn and grow and, and improve on. How do you prepare, you know, for that, that coming in? Is there a lot of film? I mean, are you, are you, are your kids spending a lot of time in a film room type session on huddle, looking at the routes that they run and, and maybe trying to pick up some tendencies? You know, uh, traditionally, normal years, we would have them watch film on Monday with us as a group and then bring them in on Tuesday morning. And uh, we've kind of shut that down for, um, honestly, just for COVID reasons, not wanting to pack them all into one room and, and that sort of thing. So uh, thankfully, with, you know, with technology today, they're able to get on their phones and get that accomplished. And, um, you know, as coaches, we can kind of track who's doing, who's doing what on film. Um, I've got two individuals sitting – uh, that direction that are currently, uh, you know, defensive starters that are looking at film right now um, next to me. So um, I think the kids are, you know, taking pride in, in that, you know, setup and, and trying to make sure that they're prepared. And uh, man, Brandon, Brandon Pitts does a really good job. Um, he's very organized. So he, you know, at practice, I'm kind of trying to help run the scout team offense and um, he's got cards for me. He's telling me, Hey, I want you to run number eight right here. I'll go down to number eight. And we run it. And so he's getting specific things, you know, done for our defense. And, um, you know, we're, we're uh, trying to handle it as best you can. It, it's tough. Camden, you know, they're going to throw the ball all over the yard, but they also get some power eye stuff and um, kind of go back to some throwback Laker football. And, um, you know, they can, they can do all things well and, and uh, presents a challenge. Well, you got Bob Shore on the sideline. You got to You got to throw him a bone every now and then line up in that power eye. But all right. <laughs> Coach, talk about uh, you got. Are you guys healthy? I mean, you're a third of the way through the season. Now, obviously, there's going to be bumps and bruises and things like that, just nicks and and cuts and things like that. But overall, you guys healthy right now? You know, uh, kind of same type of thing. I think everybody's probably dealing with. We've got a defensive, uh, you know, defensive linebacker that uh, probably going to miss this Friday. Uh, Garrett Ground, he's dealing with a, a knee issue, and um, you know, want to be careful with him and, and make sure we get him back full strength before. Uh, you know, the home stretch run. And um, he's just, he's too valuable for us to, to not, uh, you know, not have long-term. So we're going to be careful with him. There's a chance he'll play, but um, don't really know. And then we've got a guy that started at corner for us every week uh, and Landon Casey, that is uh, our, probably our best soccer player also. Um, so that's, he's got an interesting life. You know, he practices soccer half the day, practices football half the day. Um, and he's been in a, a tough stretch where 
I think they played uh, six soccer games in the last eight days, and he's played two football games in the last eight days or something like that. And, um, he's got a hip flexor that's tightened up on him. So, um, you know, we're doing our best uh, to try to replace those two guys that are really big pieces for us. Very good. Well, let's, uh, if you can point at one or two stats going into this weekend, if I wake up on Saturday, what are the two stats that I can look at and I'm going to know you won the game? Is it turnovers, penalties, yard rushing? Uh, what, what, what are the stats that we're going to pay attention to? Um, you know, I would say the turnover battle is going to be a big deal. Um, you know, they're throwing the ball around quite a bit. If we don't turn them over, um, you know, that, that's going to be a problem for us. Uh, you know, the longer they have the ball um, with that type of an offense, the more likely they are to, uh, to big play you. Um, so definitely I'd say turnover battle. And then um, for us, I would say offensive penalties. You know, uh, the surest way to kill the drive for us would be to have a holding penalty. We've, we've not been able to get through a game um, without a, you know, a, a holding penalty or a block in the back that has is, that is killed a touchdown. And then the, the result of that drive has turned out to be either um, loss of downs or a punt. That, that has happened every single game. And, uh, you know, you do that against a good team and uh, you take points off the board for yourself. It's, it's tough to win. You bet. Well, Coach, that game, uh, 7 o'clock on Friday night. And, and now where is that? Is that at your, your place or theirs? No, uh, we are we are road warriors this year. We get to go to Camden. All right. Well, hey, have a safe trip up there. We'll be paying attention and hopefully we'll get to visit with you here throughout the season. But I really appreciate you being generous with your time today. All right. Thank you very much. You bet. Good luck, Coach. Thanks. You're listening to the Missouri Sports Network here on High School Game Day. Back after this. <laughs> 